And it struck me a good way of starting that, not only giving a sense of sort of the range of what aggression can be like, but also a very important point that's going to come through this entire lecture. It struck me that a good thing to be would be to describe a relatively recent exposure I had to human aggression, which was me being aggressive to somebody else. This was now a couple of years ago before my back disintegrated on me. I used to play soccer two, three times a week. And i was been doing this for decades. And I'm actually totally lousy at soccer. And like I'm short and I'm old and I'm not particularly coordinated. And, I don't even, and so this has never been something that was like one of the things I was going to go to uh, the Olympics with. So a number of years ago, there was consistently this one guy who seemed to always wind up on the other side and who somehow always wind up guarding me, who was a total son of a bitch. This guy, he was, he was a lot younger than me and he was a lot more athletic and he was a lot taller than me and he was a lot more skillful at this game. And on top of everything else, he was a really dirty player. And this was driving me crazy. Every time the ball would get near me, he would elbow me in my ear, and he would do something <laughs> like that he wasn't supposed to be doing, uh, that sort. And one day, we were out playing, and somebody passed the ball to me. And as per usual, he effortlessly knocked me out of the way, crudely and illegally, which no one seemed to notice, and then stole the ball. And I was pissed. And this guy quickly passed it to someone else, and the two of us were sort of running towards a corner of the field, and momentum was carrying us. And I sort of realized that the ball was now kind of elsewhere in the field, and thus everybody's attention was kind of uh, elsewhere in the field. <laughs> so we're running along, and I'm like a half step behind him, and I just stick my foot in front of his ankle and send him rolling and sprawling. And this was the best. Heaven. This was during the summer, and it turned out there was a mud hole there. It hadn't <laughs> rained in six months. This was wonderful. So he goes, and I didn't even go through the pretense of, oh, are you okay? Sorry about that. It was just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, I, I had to restrain myself from ripping his stomach open with my canines at that point. So I felt wonderful. This was like the best thing that had happened to me in months. Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, now in his 92nd year, frail, frail, an icon of all that is good and wonderful about humans, this man on his last legs now. What if I had been playing soccer with Nelson Mandela and I did that to him? You'd be horrified. <laughs> Nobody would be on the edge of applauding that sort of thing. This would be unspeakable if I had done that to delightful Nelson Mandela at age 92. So what we see here is a very important thing that is going to run through all of this topic, which is very little about the social, the environmental, the learning aspects of aggression have to do with learning how to be aggressive. It's all about when. It's all about the appropriate social context for it. Because that speaks to something that is absolutely clear for 99.9% .9 of us. We do not want a world without violence. We love violence. We get excited by it. We will pay good money to see the right displays of competitive violence. We will barely restrain ourselves from leaping in and joining it. It is all so wonderful and exciting. We love violence when it's the right kind, when it's in the right context. And a huge percentage of wrestling with this is built around the fact that in some settings, the exact same behavior gets you medals, gets you promotions, gets you differential reproductive success. And the exact same patterns of what you do with your muscles in another setting is some of the worst things you could do as a human to another human. And it's the same behavior. And what we're going to be wrestling with over and over and over in the subject as we march back here is this whole issue of very little about the biology of violence, competition, all of that is about how to do the behaviors. It is all about appropriate context. And what we will see is all sorts of realms of neurological diseases where things go majorly wrong in terms of control against violence. Very rarely will it be that it's the magnitude of violence which is wrong. What you see is it's in the wrong context. 
because if it's done right, we love it and we elect people who have been good at it and we differentially mate with them and we pay to see it, it's got to be in the right setting. There are very few of us who viscerally are truly, truly pacifists all across the board. We just don't like violence in certain settings.